Okay, Lloyd, so you're an artist who has a strong interest in plants and gardening. How do you combine the two passions in the work that you do? I've had a great interest in light and photosensitivity for many years now. Um, around about 1983-84, I began work on uh, my first series of photographs on uh, uh, the Clutha River in New Zealand where they were building a hydro dam and the, the river's since all been flooded with a lake and I was very interested in the primeval qualities of the, um, the black and the white so in a sense there was this, this interest in light from, and darkness from that time. Following this I, I did further work, environmental work on um, a quarry which was destroying a unique basalt rock formation near Dunedin in New Zealand. And a bit, a bit further on in 1989 I started making photograms in conjunction with photographs. Photograms are where you lay an object on the on the photographic paper and expose it to light and the the marks in the uh, uh, the object you lay on the paper come through on um, with the exposure so I made black and white photograms and from there I moved on to making very large color photograms uh, the largest work that I made was 22 meters long and included three figures. Um, from there I started making handmade emulsion prints where I started painting emulsions onto the paper. And I became very interested in this idea of what an emulsion is, what a photosensitive emulsion is. I'd been a very keen gardener for many years and I suddenly in about 95 connected the idea that Gardening and plants are actually a form of photography. Plants are photosensitive. As light is going past the planet, they respond to light and grow. So I, I started exploring this idea of plants as photographs. And I grew images into the leaves of plants by masking off different areas of the plant leaving it in the sun for four months or so and then taking the tape off and there was an impression left in the leaf. While I had this huge collection of plants I, I was working almost exclusively with bromeliad plants which is a family of plants and I started making installations, installing them in coal burning boiler houses um, I put them in lifts, elevators where people went up and down and experienced uh, a very sterile environment suddenly covered in plants. I suspended them and projected light through them. I did a piece where there were seven infrared activated projectors and as the audience moved through the space they triggered various projectors on and off uh, creating shadow patterns on screens. Um, I also did work where I put up a series of photographic or sheets of photographic paper where and the shadows of the plants were projected onto these sheets of paper and during the exhibition the images grew onto the paper and then at the end of the exhibition I did a performance piece where I took the photographic paper down and processed it in fixer and water of course it had been developed solely by through light um, because photographic paper doesn't actually need developer it can the thing that stimulates it is light the developer just amplifies the, the process and then we put them back up on the wall. So I've been working with plants and this idea of 
photosensitivity for a very long time. Um, and that, that's where my interest collided with photography and plants, this idea that plants are actually a form of photography. I see the planet as a, an abstract, uh, ever-changing, living, photosynthetic medium. It's, it's like this large, abstract photograph which is ever-changing. And of course, human activity on the planet is having a big effect on that. You know, we're, we're, we're in effect cutting into that the, 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 the kind of um, fabric of, of, of that photosensitive membrane that surrounds the planet. So that's another another thing you're interested in then is the uh, the, the greenhouse effect and the effect of, of humans on the planet and very much so yeah yeah and I mean a part of the uh, initiative that I'm doing now with with living uh, sculptures plant sculptures is the idea of bringing them into cities to create an awareness for of people for people well, or well, it does create an awareness, but it actually has a practical effect as well. I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, um, they will actually capture carbon. They will purify the air. They will oh, retain water. So in a sense, if you have enough plant sculptures within a city, you, you'll be taking an, an active step to purifying the air.